Hello students, it's Mr. Omari here and I'm doing this short tutorial to teach you how to set up your own OneNote workbook so that it will be on the server so you can see it and your teachers can see it. I've got Mr. Pittard to my left. Hi students. And Mr. Good to my right. Hello folks. Now, on your, I'm doing this on a desktop machine so your experience on the slates will be slightly different. That's correct. But the first thing you need to do is go and get the URL for where your documents are going to be kept. So I'm opening Internet Explorer, I'm going to the home page, and here under my tools it says my site. So I'm going to click on that and open it, and now I'm looking at my site. I'm going up to the top of the page, the address bar, and I'm selecting everything from the start all the way up to my username, which is omeme, and the dash after it. How am I doing so far, Mr. Good? Doing very well, Mr. Omara. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Now, I'm going to right click and copy. You could also press Control C on your keyboard, and there's probably a Windows 8 way to do this as well. Pretty similar. Okay, so I've copied that text, and that's important. So now I'm going to OneNote, which you can do from a tile on the front of your screen, and I'm here in OneNote. I'm going to the file menu and I'm starting a new file. Now this is where it starts to get tricky, so this is where you really need to do exactly the stuff that we say. Dash, Omara, no spaces, mark. Now, this is exactly the format you need to use. Don't go writing my literacy or Mark's literacy or Liz or anything else because other people can see this. And it's really important to us, isn't it, Mr. Pittard, that they, people get this right? Yeah, they have to copy it identically, uppercase literacy, and an uppercase for the first letter of both of your names. And this is also because teachers eventually could have quite a few of these notebooks open, so they have to have a standard protocol for finding them. So this is not the time to be creative. No. Get your friend to check it and just say, hang on, is this what the video says it should be? Please stop and do this carefully. I cannot emphasize that enough. Next, the network location. I'm going to delete what's there. I'm gonna paste in the URL that I just got half a minute ago, which as you can see, starts with HTTPS and ends with my username and a slash. Then I'm gonna press the browse button and it's going to throw up this window and my choices are personal documents or style library. I've clicked on personal documents and select. So I have told it I want it on the network, what I want it to be called and as you can see there is the address with omeme slash personal documents. Now yours won't say omeme, yours will say your login name. So I hit create notebook and then I wait for a little bit. Oh, I was thinking. It's asking me if I want to send a link to people about it. And I say, no thanks. And there you go. I now have my literacy OneNote, which is sitting there. And whenever I open OneNote, it will be there. So um, there you go. You have now set it up and show your teacher, take it to them and say, look, here's my literacy notebook. Can you just check it for me? But you're ready to go on to stage two, which is copying some content in. 